Welcome to our YouTube channel. Programming with VJ. In this video we are going to load the addressable asset from remote server. We are going to use Linux as a server. Like shown in diagram, we will give download request from Unity application and download the asset from Linux machine. Let us go into the video. Before that please subscribe the channel, if you have not subscribed. Please like this video, if you have any doubt put in comment section. All we have one question. Even for practicing why we need to buy a cloud content storage. Because the method will be mostly same in which we used in Linux server also. If you already have cloud content storage you can use them. If you don't have you can follow this for practicing. But for real games you have to buy the cloud content storage. This is continuation from addressable part 2 video. If you have not watched that video please watch and see this video. Open the addressable window. By windows, asset management, addressable, groups. Click on the group which you want to be loaded from server. In the inspector window you can see the settings. In that, change the build and load path to remote. You can see the load path is empty. We have to give the path of the asset. We can assign the path by clicking on Tools, Windows, Profiles. In the Remote Load Path field, we can enter the address of the asset. Now build the addressables. We can store the builded addressable in the server to download. Now go to server data folder. It will be created automatically inside the path which I am showing. Inside the server data folder there will be another folder which will be standalone windows. We have built it for Windows platform so it is named like that. Don't change the name of the folder. Inside the folder there will be the builded addressable content. These are the files we will be storing in cloud. Now if you have virtual machine for Linux open that. Because Linux have built in server. You can also install Linux it is free only. I am opening VM workstation and opening Linux. After opening Linux machine, open the terminal. Type if config in terminal to get IP address. Start the server by typing service Apache to start. Now the server is started. Open file explorer in Linux. Go to other location. Click on computer. Click on var www html files. In this file folder we are going to store the builded addressable content. Now check the server is working or not. Go to Windows machine and go to Chrome. In the search bar type the IP address and slash files. You can see the server working. Now drag and drop the addressables which we builded. Drop inside the files folder in Linux. Make sure you drag and drop the whole folder, that is standalone windows. Make sure all the files are there in drop folder. Now switch to Unity. Open the addressable window. Go to profiles. Now paste the path correctly. IP address followed by the folders. In my system it is IP address, files folder, standalone windows. If you want to build addressable you can do. But it is not necessary because we did not make changes to the addressable assets. Make a build. Another thing I forgot to update. Go to Unity. 
and go to player settings. In player settings, go to other settings. Scroll little down in that. Look for allow download over HTTP. If it is always allowed leave it as it is. Otherwise make this change and make a build again. Because we are using HTTP connection to download the asset. Open the application now. Click on download button. It will take some seconds to download. After it is downloaded, download button will be not interactable. Load button will be interactable. Now click on load button. You can see the environment loaded. I will show where the assets are downloaded in the windows. Go to C folder. Users, your system name, app data, local low, Unity. In Unity there will be the project. Inside the project you can see the downloaded asset. Now delete the whole folder. After deleting the downloaded folder. Go to Linux. Stop the server by typing the command. Service Apache 2 stop. Go to Windows machine. Open the application now. Now click on download. Download will not happen. Because server is stopped. You can see the errors in debug console. If you load the IP address in Chrome which we loaded before, it will not load. In the downloaded path also the downloaded asset is not there. Because we didn't download right. Go to Linux machine and start the server. Now go to Chrome and reload the page. It will load now. Now open the application. And also open the file explorer. And go to the folder which the downloaded asset will show. I had kept the application to the right. And file explorer to left, to see the file downloading. When you click on download button the download will start. And also you can see in the left file explorer, the folder will be created. You can see the initial size of the folder. Download is completed with no errors. Also you can see the load button is interactable. And download button is not interactable. Now you can see the folder size is increased to 230 megabytes. Now click on load button. The environment will be loaded. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel. Please give a like to this video. So it can motivate me.